Hey everybody, Suzanne Perry, founder of LoveShouldn'tHurt.tv. Well, today is day 15 of our information and bits and tips surrounding the category of domestic violence. So, let's say you finally made the break and you have decided to leave your abusive relationship. Well, now what? You're going to go through horrible feelings of almost like withdrawal. And you're going to feel guilty and you're going to be very vulnerable. So this is the best time to avoid alcohol, drug use, major purchases, any major decisions. Put all that stuff on hold for the time being. You need right now to just start to take care of you. And when you get those feelings, those guilty voices in your mind who are trying to say, well, let's just call one more time or let's say, oh, I... And I know you're an abuser and you just want to call and say that. Don't do that. Because that will just open up the ability to engage where that person can resync their hooks into you because you're very vulnerable right now. So the best thing that you can do now that you've taken the greatest step in the world is to cut off all contacts, if possible. If you have children involved, Hopefully you can get an order of protection and make arrangements, but have as minimal contact as possible. Best advice, have zero contact, no contact at all. Stick to it. Block them on your social media. Block their number. Have no contact. That is the best thing to do. And it is going to be just like breaking a drug, a drug addiction. So for every hour and every day that you didn't give in and you didn't feel guilty and you didn't call them or you didn't stalk their Facebook page, give yourself a pat on the back. Good for you. Keep that going. Just keep it going. Because each day you're going to get stronger and you're going to start to uncover yourself. And then you're going to be able to look back at that relationship and see it for what it was. Not healthy. So trust me, it will get better. And there will be times that you feel weak and you are gonna to wanna to give in. But please, don't go back. Fight those feelings to wanna to talk to them or text them one more time or, or lose yourself in a bottle of wine. Please don't do those things. They're more self-destructive than, than any good. And you're just gonna feel worse and maybe you'll have mistakes you'll have to cover up that you did the night before. So we don't wanna go there, okay? If you're having these feelings and you don't know how to deal with them, call somebody who is a, maybe a counselor, uh, a social worker, an advocate. You could call me. I'm not licensed, but I know what you're going through, and I definitely can help to talk you out of going back, calling one last time, or just any of that one last time. Don't, just don't do it. Odds are, if you engage, they will recapture you, they will promise you the world, you will feel weak, vulnerable, scared, guilty, you're gonna go back, and you might not make it out next time. So stay out of the relationship, call a friend, talk to somebody, read a book, but don't allow yourself to engage with bad activities. Don't get in drugs, don't start drinking, don't make any major purchases, okay? Let's take care of you. And we'll do it. I'm Suzanne Perry. Thank you for watching.